Good morning, it's Thursday and it's Blowing for Britain with myself and John. This is show number 17. Doesn't seem that long ago we're doing show number 13. I'm wondering if, whether anything would go wrong. Um, now, welcome Stephen, welcome Ken, and uh, welcome also to, uh, well, everyone really. <laughs> everyone uh, who's joining us Kevin, today. George, William, Harry, yeah. they're all welcome. <laughs> yep, indeed um and you're welcome on camera in a moment as we as we actually get going and talk about what's been happening did you have a different uh sign in today john um yeah ask me all about my camera and stuff that was quite interesting in indeed uh I think they're trying to preempt any problems by making sure you've got the right camera when you call in now uh you get a box comes up on the screen and that box shows your video feed and it allows you to pick your camera and it allows you to uh, test your mic, which is why Steve, I was a bit flummoxed when I got in because I didn't think people could hear me and they could. Um, so that's before you come in so that you know that everything's working. Um, and that's a, a great improvement and uh, makes life a bit easier. An extra step, but it does allow you to test the video and the sound before you actually come on in. Uh, that's the one change, and the second major change we've done this week, of course, is the front screen. Have you had a chance to see it yet? Yes, yes. I don't like it because I can't search for anybody anymore. And so, finding this show this morning, I had to scoot all the way back to when I tweeted it. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, yes. I really didn't go in at all because if I hadn't tweeted it, I wouldn't have been able to get here till it went till you went on. Indeed, I think we should treat, we should treat share the last thirty seconds. Oh, I've forgotten to put the text in. Uh, when you're sharing things, <laughs> cut and paste the text, share, paste the text, and then share now. Um, yes, we talked about that last week, so I don't want to bring that one back. Uh, but the the front page has changed. Uh, I have uh, for my sins because people were complaining about it. Whether you love it or hate it. There is, in fact, uh, a guide there to uh, what has changed. And, yep, you're a host, John, so Stephen's calling. So shall we? Of course we shall. Yes. But we need one lock seat to show the uh, the other new features, don't we? Well, we need to ask for it first, shall we? Go on, then. So if I now type in at help... Uh, in small case, this is experimental, if you understand, bear with me. And say, so can we have, probably a minute, Stephen, the, oh, I'll get there in a second. <laughs> this is this uh, new feature that allows you to make use of a locked seat. Can we have the drop in, please? There we go. Uh, the drop in, uh, which is much heralded uh, is finally arriving uh, and if you ask for it during your show they will let you have it on a show by show basis um, and as John quite rightly said um, you need to have a spare seat for that and we will be able to have some uh, a go with that later but for the moment let's carry on with the show because we we might be waking somebody up uh, in the <laughs> and they're hurrying, scurrying around and trying to find out the dropping code and drop it into here Shall we tell people what the drop-in does as oh, well? Off you go. Yeah, what does the drop-in do? <laughs> um, well, you can drop in an a URL, and so you can show a picture or a video in the spare seat. It's still only the size of the spare seat, but it's dead easy to do. Um, and uh, uh, Kelvin, myself, and a few other people had some great fun trying out. You can even drop BBC addresses in um, of live broadcasts. You can't yeah. see the live broadcast in the seat, but you can then click on the live broadcast and go and watch it on the BBC. So right. I see some pretty good potential um, things there, especially if you've got two screens, because you, when you go to the second thing, you could watch that on your second screen. So well, you could have it for public demonstrations and things like that, presumably. Yes, yes. It still really is hard to read, you know. Um, it's just too small, but th I think they know that really. Anyway, shall we move on with the show and hopefully we'll get dropping and 
facility and demonstrate it. Yep. yep. Okay, that's good. Uh, the other event we mentioned to Blowing for Britain this week is that, of course, we now have every morning you can read the Blowing. For, I'll put the link in now. The Blowing for Britain newspaper, um, which is full of things Blab related, and not just John and I. Uh, it's, it's most of the articles that have been published on Blab in the last 24 hours, and it's a good way to keep up with the news, not necessarily every day, but you can hop in and out. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's what we'd call in the trade, it's a branded newspaper. So you can see that Blubbing for Britain is on Thursday at 10 o'clock, but you know that anyway. Uh, but it's just another way of, of marketing things. Have we lost the um, tweet capacity ability? Right, you, you, I I, got it. Yeah, somebody's Sorry. listening to us. <laughs> that was spooky. It's, all, it's, it's alternate between share last 30 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah, and and the tweet and the Facebook. We're being watched. Switch, okay. Yeah. Um, right, okay, and uh, welcome to, to Kevin and uh, and Anthony. Um, we, we are being monitored, possibly, but we're being watched by the world, so we, we shouldn't really worry about it. Uh, Blab monitoring. Right, you mentioned earlier, uh, Stephen, uh, about Her Majesty. Oh, yes. What are your feelings? Well, it's, it, it's, it's just another of these non-fact stories about the EU referendum. There is no real information out there about what people... Th There's lots of information about people's views and what they think. Um, Morrison's were interviewed on Radio 4 this morning, and... Yeah. There were maybe three or four questions asked of the rep who, were, who was there. And one of them was, what does Morrison think about, you know, does it have a corporate stance on the EU referendum? And after much waffle, we got, no, it doesn't. And you sort of wonder, it's a decision that we've all got to make in, what, two months' time? Yeah, yeah. With, with nothing but sentiment to go on. It's, That's true. You know, it's, it's a craziness. It really is that the whole country is being led down a path by so many people who've got nothing to tell us about what the facts are you know does britain pay more in than it gets out is there is there anybody ever going to be able to say yes or no to that um what what is likely to happen if um the country says yes we'll stay in and that's cameron's bargaining position out the window at the eu level because you know the, the people say that they want to stay in and uh, if Cameron goes back to the European Commission or wherever and says, I want these changes, the, the EU will just say, afraid not, sunshine, because, yeah. you, you know, you've, um, you've set your country, you said they want to stay in. You so I just find the lack of information, the lack of data yeah. so frustrating. And this thing about the Queen and her uh, discussion, alleged discussion with Clegg, it's, it's just another example of what uh, the paucity of information we've got to go on. John, do you think that, you, did, is that, does that chime with you, mate? Um, um, I think, I think I'm, I'm, oh, I've oh, got I'm funny as well. Can, I can tell that, can you hear me or can, are I going I can to hear you, yeah. uh, I think I've just got a, a slight echo. Yeah, Stephen's on audio only because of internet signal. All oh, right. I can, I can hear you. you. Yeah, we've got. Yeah, it's just I couldn't hear myself, which. Oh, all right, okay. Which is, quite, yeah. quite disconcerting. I could hear myself in the ear, if you get what I mean, but not coming out the screen. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of not bothered. Um, I don't think what I think will make a bl blind bit of difference. Why? Why? It's, Why? Yeah. It's, it's, but it's like it's, this. I've asked my three kids what they think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now all three of them have never known anything other than being part of the EU. So to them, the prospect of coming out of the EU is actually frightening. They hmm. they don't know anything other than what they're, and I think all three of them, if they bother to vote, I think one will, the other two won't bother, uh, will vote for staying in. And I think. Anybody under the age of about, what is it, 35 years since we joined the EU? 45. What? Is it 45? Well, whatever. 43, 43, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
they've never known anything else so for them it's an even bigger because they can't go back to what we knew before that's right we can indeed um and the other thing like you said yourself is um what facts am i going to make that decision on you know i've got bozo harry do who i think is an extremely clever man by the way yeah and um he gives me no real reason to come out and i've got mr cameron classmate of bozo the hairdo um and he gives me no real reason to stay in either so i don't know but it, 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 i will vote because i believe you've got to vote or you're not doing the service to the country yeah but it's your vote isn't it it's not like you're voting for a, a, a an mp within your constituency who you know it may be a labor constituency or a tory constituency oh, it's a black and white thing it's a binary thing isn't it in or out and um your vote your vote will count i think but I, i'm just flipping daily on it stephen hawking dr stephen hawking came out on a letter with 150 scientists from the royal academy i think it was this morning oh. so the science the, la the loss to science of uh, and research from leaving the EU would be very bad news. Yeah. You, you put that against the fact that the farmers will say, I don't know what the farmers will say, aren't they supposed to be getting lots of subsidy from... Um, do. I don't know, so... Yeah. <sighs> they, 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 I mean, we go back a few years, they were getting paid not to grow things. Um, so yeah. they've had money from the EU. I don't think the farmers have got anything against the EU at all. Um, so... Uh, so there's a portion of society that will probably vote to stay in. Sure, sure. So I don't know because they don't have any facts to make an informed decision on. But if I'm likely to make any vote, it's probably to stay in. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, as I said, I flip flop from day to day at the moment, depending on who says what. But I, 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 I do think we should actually stay in at the moment because of the science thing. Actually, I'm, I'm so keen on it. Um, yeah. yes, that's what I think. I still yeah, we, we took a, a, there's a forum that John and I are members of Prospect Networking. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we've got a, under over 400 members in there. And uh, Jeremy uh, Dent, one of our mutual friends, put a poll up and said, How would you vote today? Not yeah. on June 23rd, but how would you vote today? And we had uh, the end up with three options: vote to stay, vote to go, and I don't know. And it, without naming names, uh, the vote to stay had twenty-five, the vote to go had two, and I don't know had two. So on a straw poll taken on a specific day in a network of four hundred people, the overwhelming answer was stay. So, but as people observed, and you've observed, Stephen. And John as well, we don't know exactly what we're staying for or leaving for. So it's a very difficult thing. Anyway, uh, other exciting news this week was that the Google Go computer beat the Go world champion, which is a triumph for AI. Go, Google, go. It just sounds good. I just wanted to say it. Um, was that a black and white decision? <laughs> I was stoned at the time. Um, no, sorry, we shouldn't go with puns, should we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's uh, fascinating that that. Uh, I mean, the implications of such. How uh, can I put it? As we can see intelligence. There isn't any, obviously, because we're all it's all binary. Um, but to be able to give it the ability to win at go uh, is a heck of an achievement in terms of, of its rational thinking process, the ability to learn. Yeah. So anyway, we've, we've, we've mentioned it, so that's enough. Obviously, it's a, a fascinating topic to those of us who are... Uh, is this still being played, best of three, Stephen? It is, yeah, but we won the, uh, the computer won the first one. It's, it's the first one that matters. That's where the headlines are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll see. There's uh, not quite the same glory as there of coming back and winning two out of three, you know. No, no, it's a bit like the English, English <laughs> cricket team, really, uh, who won the first two and then lost the last three. Um, 
but we don't talk about that because that wasn't real cricket, was it? That was that was one day cricket, and that doesn't count. It's not test cricket. And we won the test. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, what else can we uh, discuss? You can talk to us about Thrive. Ah, yes. ah right. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Um, I'm blubbing for Britain about three weeks ago. When we finish the show, it shows who's attended. And we get a list of everybody who actually watched the show, which is, is wonderful. Logged in. Logged in with Twitter. I was going down the list and I noticed that Paul Ince, not the footballer, but Paul Ince of Thrive had logged in and watched. He not said he not said anything, but I thought, what's Thrive? So I toddled off and uh, followed the link through. And Thrive is a software house based in Leicestershire, a British software house. And I thought, I'll take a look at the software. And the software is made of the ability to search Twitter and Facebook for phrases, phrase matches, uh, more powerful search than the most search engines, put it, put the results into lists, and then you can actually message the lists. So you can send a tweet out to each individual in the list at a different time uh, to keep in contact. So it leads to more engagement. Now, what I did with this straight away, of course, uh, was that I went to Thrive and I signed up and uh, got an account and logged in with Twitter. Then I put in them, set my search term, which was who was mentioned me. Well, I mean, it's, you've got you know you've got to start somewhere. So I searched for who had mentioned me with a specific motive, uh, because John and I are members of a site called Empire.cred, and a lot of people on there help us in retweeting and reposting and, and doing a whole range of things and it's very difficult to keep track of them and I, it came back with a list of 125 people so i had 125 people who'd retweeted me uh in the recent recent past and i was able to take that and say thank you to them which is is no mean feat it means a lot to everybody to be able to thank people so in terms of uh, a, a system you can use personally it's brilliant in terms of a system you can use for business, uh, I interviewed the uh, two gentlemen uh, who run Wiltshire Business Club last night, and uh, we did a search for I did a search for Wiltshire prior to that, and I got fourteen hundred hits. That's people on Twitter mentioning Wiltshire or having I mean, Wiltshire in the bio biography on Twitter. So to cut a long story short, uh, I interviewed uh, Paul Ince of Thrive yesterday. The video is on YouTube, and the software is free. The software is British, and uh, I hope I'm not going to be gainsaid here, but it works. It works, John? I don't know. My t <laughs> my initial test is uh, still running, so right. I suspect I may well have incorrectly filled out some of the parameters. Okay. Um, mm. and my second test, I scheduled it, um, and I thought I'd scheduled it for uh, 11 o'clock last night. And in fact, I scheduled it for 11 o'clock tonight. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, I haven't any proven results yet, but it, okay. it looks fun to use. And it, it, it is, looks yeah. like it has real potential as well. Yeah, uh, so I'm just going to find the, the website and we'll post that in. Because the thing about it is that uh, it's British, which obviously, as we're blaming for Britain, Uh, and the second thing is that it's it's free. I'm just trying to get a link. I'm failing miserably. <laughs> you got it, John? Yeah, I've actually got it open. So. Oh, brilliant! Okay, if you could, you could do that. We can't, still can't tweet this session because um, I was going to stick that into a tweet with. All right. Agent. Okay. I uh, just we have. Uh, Um, you can th still tweet. Well, it's all I've got is share last yeah, thirty. If you seconds. click the share yeah. last twenty seconds, you can yeah. you can undo the last thirty seconds by xing it, and then it just becomes a normal tweet got Facebook it. post. Got it. Ah, I'll get back. Oh. Ah. Uh, you can you carry on from it, John? Yes, yes. So it's thrive.com. It's down there. And uh, if you look on Blab IM, you'll find a very interesting chat uh, by Stephen 
uh, with Paul Ince. Uh, and uh, some, you know, quite nice, interesting points were made about, you know, working with other people and searching for other people. Um, and so that's thrive.com. Um, while he's gone all blurry, let's talk about football for a second because he's been he's been posting about how his team are top of uh, top of the uh, uh, championship and uh, several points in front of Middlesbrough at last now. So uh, oh, he's gone audio only as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really, really happy, isn't he? <laughs> he's very happy. He's looking forward to his Claret and Blue team replacing yeah. my Claret and Blue team in the Premiership next season. Indeed, yes. That would be, can you not hear me? We can okay. hear you, yeah. but we can't see you, Stephen. You can't see me. All right, I'm going to try again. Yeah, it's back to poor internet signal, I'm afraid. He's gone now. Yeah. A friend, a friend of mine supports the villa and he's in sort of terminal decline at the moment because it's <laughs> not looking very good, is it really? Yes. Um, the big shock we had round here in the last couple of days, football wise, though, is Warsaw sacking Sean Driscoll. Uh, you know, they're in the playoff positions and they sack the manager. It's a bit like Derby sacking uh, the other guy. Um, There's sometimes, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. You're you back. You're a bit okay. fuzzy, but you're definitely back. Right. Okay. I'll take. I'll take fuzzy. It's the sound that matters. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, this manager's merry-go-round happens every year, doesn't it? And uh, doesn't success these days. It's just you've got to be in the champion Premiership. You've got to be in the top four. Yeah. But how did Leicester get into the top four? That's what I don't understand. I'm delighted that they have. Yeah. But. It's just, you know, um, I think all the money that the other have spent, you know. A lot of it's down to uh, Nigel Pearson because they were on a bloody good run at the end of last season. And Claudio, or Donald Claudio, as they call him in Leicester, um, hasn't actually added that many people to it. So um, I think there, but Claudio um, has definitely uh, done something for them, hasn't he? He's uh, yeah. definitely lived them up. I am just looking forward to uh, a certain TV presenter, Mr Lineker, doing his first uh, production of next season in his underpants. That's what <laughs> I'm looking forward to. I think he's really seriously uh, considering his uh, rash words now. Is that what he said? Okay. Uh, yeah, well, when they appointed Claudio, he said, you know, what a terrible thing it was. Oh, what no. a mistake. And if they win the league, I'll do the first programme in my undies. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> that is <laughs> so, uh, he's a, um, I don't know if you saw match of the day at the weekend, but uh, Mr. Yeah, Gary was giving him a hard time about his man boobs and how he'd lend him one of his wife's bras for that. <laughs> Right. Well, see, plugging for my team, Stoke City, doing ever so well. Currently eighth, but with a nice oh, run that's in. Really good, but I mean, you've got a good manager, haven't you? Well, as yeah, he's made such a difference, and some of the spending that um, our chairman, Mr. Coates, has done has been inspired. And um, it's a pleasure to watch Stoke now, and it's a pleasure to hear people saying it's a pleasure to watch Stoke yeah. football. Fabulous! I it's think really Tony good. had got stale there. That was the real problem. He did such a good job to get us up to into the Premier League in the first instance. And there was always criticism of the physical approach that we have to the extent that our, our, our national anthem, our anthem is um, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot now. <laughs> uh, it's, it's turned around slightly and our, our, our supporters start singing Swing Low when, when it's appropriate. So, it's, it's yeah, but he did, he did a good job getting us up and keeping us there. And then Mark's just made immense strides. We're all dead chuffed, really are. Yeah. And and the West Bromwich Albion fans are all talking good of him again now. It's yes, it's, yeah. a, it's amazing what a four match run of winning can do for you. <laughs> and of course, they're on thirty nine points, so you can be pretty sure they're safe. They are safe. Well, one point off mathematical safety, I think they are. Yeah. Now. And now they're talking about fifty points, which would be their highest ever Premier League attainment. So that's pretty yeah. damn good. They'll be nearly. They'll be quite close to the best team in the Midlands. I think that's the way we're seeing it these days. 
Well, is you... Stoke in the Midlands? That's the big question. <laughs> 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 or are you a bunch of northerners? That's what I... Uh, <laughs> that's a bloody good question and, and the subject of a future blab, I'm sure, because we are equidistant, actually, between Manchester and Birmingham. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, do, you, do you feel a Midlander? <laughs> Uh, I feel both. I do feel both. People around here, because I'm not, I'm not a native Stokey. I've only been here since 1969. But they, we, they, a native Stokey's got a sort of a, um, a, a <clears throat> in their voice, they're very Liverpoolian. Yeah. So there's a, nor a bit of a northern thing coming in there. But of course, you know, we are you know, 37 miles, I think, from Manchester. So we're still West Midlands, whether we like it or not. Okay. That's fine. There's nothing wrong in that. I mean, I've lived yeah. in. Born in Lancashire, lived in the Midlands, and now I'm living down south. And uh, I, all I, other I, attractions. I have lived down south, and I would just say, well, London, and I would be much prefer up here. So I don't know if that helps. <laughs> I, 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 I agree, London. Well, London's a brilliant place to visit. You agree, John? Uh, I don't even like visiting it. So. <laughs> oh God. I'm a miserable old kid. I'd rather go down my allotment than go to. We're going to get the, the sergeant kicking in in a minute. The what? Okay. Grumpy old men are back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's on duty today. You're all right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, good. That's good. Do it safely, unless he listens. Unless he's please. watching from the control room at Lancashire Police, we'll be all right. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, can ask a, a reasonable question. I think I know the answer, John. Uh, how do we know when we've got the drop in? Um, do you know, I don't know the answer to that question, so you better tell us. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, the, the, you know you've got the drop in if you lock the seat, which I've just done, yeah, and then open it again, you get a question coming up. All right, and we've not had the question, so uh, yeah, I can it's, it, it's just at the moment it's uh, just lock the seat, get a message when you open it up again. If you don't get the message, then you haven't got the drop in, so we haven't got the drop in in Britain yet. Uh, we'll have to hope that. Uh, it does arrive. It can't be too far away if they're actually uh, testing it, you know, uh, oh, yes, on, on that. Uh, Kelvin and Jorvik really gave it up. All oh, right. A real yeah. big, um, in, you know, great British history, pictures, um, holiday photos, holiday videos, uh, all sorts of stuff was all running it yesterday. Um, mm. so, yeah. And the Tweety thing is working. I've just had a look at my Twitter feed and we're on there. Yes. So lots of people don't realise you can turn it into an ordinary tweet. Yeah. Drop in. Ah. So do you, do you know the technology behind this, John? Um, I've you? not used it. I've watched it being done, but not done it myself. Right. Uh, I see. Any, so now we've right. got Drop in any link. I'm going to, the first link I should drop in now, of course. Because uh, it might show on the screen, it may not. Uh, I'll drop in any link. Are we going to see the top of the championship table now displayed in there? Right, and I get a warning that says it won't show in the archive. And uh, try again. Uh, only um, a host can see it. Uh, only the host can see it. No, 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 no. Only the host can see the drop in message. Right, uh, okay. Well, just the first thing I, I dropped in. Stephen was looking there, going, well, "What are they talking about?" <laughs> uh, we've got the drop in, obviously. Yeah. We can now have some fun. Uh, I just dropped in the the blabbing for Britain, as John observed earlier. The, the content's going to have to, and you asked Stephen, the content's going to have to be made to go in the square, isn't it? Uh, I mean, with that, you can click out, and that'll take you straight to the uh, URL, okay? And you can go straight to Paperly as well, and you can click to view. So that's a paper lead that's been brought in. Um, if anybody has a link that they'd like us to try, and here's, let's get interactive. If you've got a link you'd like us to try, please paste it in the sender message box. And we'll try that think? link. Try that Thrive, Stephen. Right, okay. Uh, okay, we'll try it. John, do you want to go? I can do, yeah. Just... Right, okay, this is good fun. We're, we're breaking new ground here. Uh, the first time that this technology has been seen in the Midlands. <laughs> I don't know. Can't be true. I saw it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, and 
uh, we've been told by thank you for uh, that SlideShare and uh, YouTube are the best at the moment. So uh, we'll, we'll certainly drop some of the, those in. Can you see that you're actually doing it, John? Yep. Okay. And thank you for letting us uh, try well, that out. I the link in, but it didn't. Uh... Oh. Right. Okay. Well, whilst John's doing that, what else have we got on the go at the moment? Well, oh, something's happening. Ah, well, that's quite a graphic, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Obviously, it picks a random graphic. It's, uh, it's no, that's the graphic off that front page. Yeah. Right, yep. I'm just going to do that share last 30 seconds again with that. If you think about it, it's okay. yep. pretending they're holding a pair of binoculars. Right, I think it's only fair. Uh, it says... I've just made you a host, Stephen, so... Uh, you can have a go. <laughs> you can have a go, yeah. Well, let's all have a go. And then we'll check out uh, YouTube. Um, Did you say software um, from the UK, Stephen? Sorry? Did you say software from Britain? Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm in yeah. Loughborough. Based at Loughborough University, as John said. Uh, so it's oh. definitely out of Leicestershire. Zydos is the company name. Uh, before we go on. Sorry? Spell it for me, Zydos. Oh, no, no. You can go to the site just by clicking on what's there now. I'm just typing it into my tweet. Well, oh, it is. It's Thrive. The company. Thrive is, is the, the brand name. The website is called www.thrive, as you can see spelt there, dot com. All the out face, out, outward facing things are, are Thrive related. Got um, it. All right. Okay. And uh, okay. I'm going to try that. Are you going to do a link now, Stephen? Or uh, you, um, yeah, yeah. So close what's there. You could, you should have the ability to close that that bottom right hand square. No, I don't. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah I've, do. I've closed it, so now no. you should see a lock oh, yeah. seat. Um, so what was I doing? Yeah, it was the sun, wasn't it? Oh, uh, Stephen Hawking. How about that? So um, lock the seat. I, I can't open. I'll open the seat. Right. Yeah. yeah. It says lock seat at the moment. Yeah, it says lock. Click lock. Got it. Now click up, click it again. So you get a big. And you can now put the URL in the bottom. Okay. Right, this is exciting. I tell you what. Can you, 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 yeah, you, you, I can't go to um, YouTube and pick a video out, can I? It's just an actual URL you need to put in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, do you want to see a video in there? Because. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's posted one there. So let's paste that in. Yeah, you do that, mate. Yeah. So it's the best and worst of something. The best thing about living in London. <laughs> <laughs> a sense of humour. Uh, right, okay. This is excellent. When you get a chance to go in to the centre of London, there's always a good there's always a good buzz going around. Nice restaurants and um, I think there's a lot to see around there if you've got um, any fun wow. coming now from now. Yeah, it's interesting, it's got a good echo on it though. Any day, any time, there's something fun. Nice one. Maven, nice one. Best What's your first name, Maven? For me, there was beds. Ken, nice one, Ken. My profession, when I go out with my family, for dinner, for the people respect too much. My profession and my profession. And my That's going to be a great help to the blabbing model, London. hasn't it? Um, it is, yeah. 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 Um, it's showing it's echoing, no? Or, or is not everybody else hearing an echo? Oh, it's gone now. That's because you said it was there. No, it's back. I think it's a ghost thing. Uh, right. Okay. You can see a lot of potential. Um, Kelvin's made up a couple of pictures that fit the frame. So yeah. when someone comes into his studio and he has to nip off uh, and... and uh, service them for want of a better expression uh, he puts up the picture that says i'll be back in five minutes or whatever a bit like a shop that's closed <laughs> so you know it's uh calvin runs an all-day blog called uh, what do you guys think about the fact that there are in quotes only four screens on blab do you think it should be six eight ten what do you think somebody did a mock-up the other week of eight screens right front of life out of everybody I think it's fair to say. Uh, the thing is, at four, we, still, we talk over each other whether we like it or not. 
Yeah. If we had eight, you'd never understand anybody. <laughs> well, we reckon four is the optimal number. Yeah. I mean, this is the, the ultimate. I'm just going to close that and lock the seat and open the seat again. And a practical application. We talked a moment ago about Thrive. And we can actually bring up. It's me again. I'm here and I'm there. This is spooky. <laughs> so you can see the Thrive song, and you can actually, uh, uh, I can actually, I can I stop that, John? I'm just going to play fully or I can click the information too. Wow. There you go. Uh, I run with John loving cover. It's definitely got an echo on it. Right. But they, that's brilliant. I'm going to stop that now because enough's enough. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I mean, that, that was that was well. Your, your comments, gentlemen. Um, well, Paul's haircut, come on, he looks like he's been sideways in a wind tunnel. Uh, the kids and their modern haircuts, I don't know what uh, to say. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? Oh, Stephen was that excited, he's run away. Yeah, no, I was just blowing my nose. I thought I'd do it off screen. Right, okay. <laughs> in terms of um, in terms of that facility, it's fabulous because you can broadcast a previous interview and talk about it as you just even with you. That's right. You, you, That's an exponential growth in functionality. That sounds, but you know what? That's just amazing. Um, as you look <laughs> I only wish it was two blocks wide at the top. And we can, I mean, I'm, I'm but I mean, it. you know, for Khan's making strides, let's not be too greedy. But if they can make it too good at the top, it would be fantastic. A 16 to 9 video would drop nicely into there. And slides are all 16 to 9 these days. Yeah. This, this, this could lead the way to sort of permanently being online. You'd have your own potential broadcast channel yeah you know blubbing for britain could for example be on all the time you know you drop in and drop out as you see fit yeah. and um things yeah breaking news could come up and you just plug into the yeah they, they and, and here you have it yeah what about the content and what about the licensing for the content that that bbc news if you put sky news in there now yeah Okay, would they upset about that. What would they think about that? Well, right. you're pushing people to their website, so why should they be upset? Yeah, if yeah, that's, upset, that's, that's the other thing. Um, thinking, yeah, because just, 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 uh, just, just want to rewind a little bit. When you play one of your YouTube videos, the view count goes up by the number of people actually in the blab. Just point that out. Um, <laughs> That's a good, a good use of it. So we're going to try and put Sky in there, are we? Sky. Well, try and put um, a, a, a music video from somewhere because, again, we are able to editorialise the content that now, we're showing. Now, 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 I'm going to tell you that there is an issue with this, okay, and YouTube and music. Yesterday, Kelvin tried to play two different videos one of him driving down the road in his car with the radio on and because youtube could hear the sounds of the music being played on the radio it youtube stopped the sound you could still see the video but not the sound so that's an interesting but i suspect that's more of a youtube issue however because we put a youtube video on with music the person who was in the group in Germany could not see it. Ah, right, yeah. 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 So there's another reason that led to a discussion about open barriers in the EU. <laughs> you know you've got PRS and the other um, licensing authority. If we, if we open a, a, a page, maybe a, an official YouTube video of Pink Floyd or whatever, we are at... Oh no! Um, Blab is broadcast publishing that without a PRS license. But is PRS? So if this was on in your hairdressers or in a pub, or showing a, st a Stoke match in a pub via? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah there's a, there's a bunch of there. It's his, isn't it? And um, I'm glad it's not my problem. <laughs> well, 
PRS, of course, doesn't apply to Blab because it's not in England. So it's not being broadcast in England, is it? But we're listening to it. So PRS applies to you if you have a business premises and you've got Blab on and it's pro and it's broadcasting music. Um, my brother's just uh, upset his staff at work because the PRS fees have climbed so much, 600 and odd pounds, he's removed the radio from the uh, the workshop. Craziness. Wow. 600 quid a year. Yeah. But, I mean, it's a small business and that's what he'd had to pay to have the radio. On. And he's, he's, this is his 11th year of trading and he's had PRS since then. And when he started, the PRS was under 200 pounds. And now... They want over six hundred pounds, and he's had to say to his people, um, "Stick your earphones in, and carry your own your own music." Crazy, mm. but it's something that um, you know, in the same way that Uber's disrupting the the, the taxi industry, transport, and still more logistics industry. Lab is going to do a similar thing for broadcasting, and from what we've just seen. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be fun, <laughs> and having for Britain at the beginning of it as well as John said. Sorry, Stephen said many times. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop that. I've got a quick question for you guys yeah, sure. on tweets, on actual tweets. What is an impression? German greetings. Sorry, I just had to try it. <laughs> Morgan. I'll try and drop the link in, actually. Um, German greetings. So it'd be good for teaching. Ah. Right, okay. Uh, to come, that was Angelica's video. Uh, to come back to, to the question, what are impressions on Twitter? Are we talking analytics to the analytics page? Well, if you have a look on any of your tweets, you'll see a little um, graphy icon. Yeah get told about the number of impressions media views total engagement and then you can go down into the pro go down into the engagements and you've got things like profile clicks media engagements and link clicks yeah at the top we've got impressions and this is where they, it's defined by twitter as the times that people saw this tweet on twitter what that actually mean i mean when you've got a lot of followers you, you, you get you see a lot of tweets in your timeline and in fact, I'm now looking at the three tweets that um, you and I, uh, us three have done. Yeah. Or I, for us three. Now, does the fact that I've seen it with my own eyes on my screen, is that an impression? Yeah. So that's... It's appeared, that's in your, it's appeared on your timeline when you were online. And you're looking at the screen. Well, you don't, isn't that you're looking at the screen, you've got the page open. You've got the page open, it's within your timeline, yeah, okay. I mean, the full analytics uh, is... Just analytics, not twitter.com. Thank you, which I've just pasted. Yeah, we're, we're, we're there. Um, that's that's the full list. That gives you everything uh, you've ever tweeted. You um, can see your top tweets over the last... Yeah, and then you can compare every month going backwards your tweeting. Yeah. So you can see your total impressions. Um, I mean, in... Yeah. What did I do? I did 206 tweets in February and got 26.1k impressions and 1,013 visits to my profile, which says I really need to do something more with my profile because it doesn't tell anybody anything. 78 mentions and 145 new followers. Yeah. All right. Okay. You don't want my stats, do you? Good. No, yours are massive compared with mine. Go on. Steve. What, my stats? Bill. Okay, spill. Uh, impressions, 301,000. Profile visits, 5,400. Mentions, 672. Follow increase, 790. And uh, that's about it. So my my tweets for impressions for the month, for the last 28 days, are 300,000. Cool, nice one. Um, and, and I'm really pleased with mine because yeah, you saw that awesome. six months ago, there were a fraction of that. Well, my 28 day summary is um, 38,000 impressions, 
apparently 2,000 profile visits, which I've really not, like used to, I've, I've not done anything about it, really. Yeah. 20, uh, 195 more followers. But that's, that's some, I mean, how often do we look at it? Um, do we look at a, our own stats? Um, Once a week, at least. Yeah, and you can see what was your most successful tweet and who you're tweeting about that succeeds. My most successful tweet in the last three months has about been about the um, the WWT uh, kids jumping in puddles at <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Slimbridge <laughs> at the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. <laughs> so My second most care. successful tweet was about uh, uh, Sergeant... Uh, well, Sergeant Neil, let's call him uh, his proper yep. name, Sergeant Neil, Indeed. and his interview with the the retiring chief superintendent. Yeah, my top tweet was about World Book Day, and my top mention was Sarge, is it Neil? Yeah. Uh, Sarge TCS about um, don't tweet or what is it? Don't stream while you're driving, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't forget, guys, don't. The day for Don't Stream While You're Driving is April the 8th, and it's going to be an all-day event on Blab. Yeah. Uh, that's it. It's just speaking to Ken, that seems like a, a, a bad link, Ken. Yeah, Ken, Ken, Ken posted a link to a, a drive, Google Drive presentation, and uh, it doesn't want to play it. Oh, my Twitter link. Oh, right, okay. My Twitter link... If you go to Twitter, you go to your own account, you click on your photo, down the drop down menu, you find analytics, click that. If the direct link is not working. Uh, but I just click that link and it, it flicks over into mine. Uh, my analytics. I have no problem with that. Signed into Twitter, it should go straight there. If you're not signed into Twitter, then you may have a, a problem. I think you've just taken it back, haven't you, with BBC News, Dean? Oh, right, that was next excellent call. And, okay. Right, uh, shall we uh, Shall we stop recording for a moment? Because everything that we're doing with the fourth screen won't show on the video anyway. So. Oh, that's uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had, we've had great fun. Well, the answer to the universe's questions, and here's all the wisdom and knowledge you could ever want to see. It's in the fourth window. Yeah. doesn't record <laughs> no it doesn't record at the moment so we've we've been talking i mean I, i'm gonna shall i pause you okay and we'll go go to to chat okay people come on here